but okay guys let's get into the things that I purchased at my recent uh, trip to the hobby store so uh, maybe I'll reintroduce myself once again and get that uh, get that going what's up everyone this is Epo Dempsey Roll here aka Rayo and this time we are going to look at my latest purchases at the hobby store went to the went to the good old hobby store yesterday mostly to pick up uh, mostly to pick up some uh, supplies right we just uh, needed a few things to to spray paint to help us spray paint better and yeah some general tools and even paint but over here at Trinity that's where we went uh, been there a couple times already very good store I, I enjoy uh, my visits there over at Trinity they did have a sale going on it was the Easter the Easter and Easter sale and then there was also a spring cleaning sale those so those were two different things and uh, when we went there which was yesterday uh, the sale was still going on so as of today I'm not 100% sure or whenever this video uh, ends up on YouTube or whatever I'm sure that'll be over but yeah so we were there for a sale didn't 100% fully realize it even at the time it was just like they kind of told us oh yeah there's a sale going on so uh yeah I ended up picking up a model but we'll kind of save the model for last so let's put this over here and we can kind of just go through some of the stuff that I got <clears throat> so super boring but we also we got some paint this is another Va Vallejo Vallejo game color paint uh, bone white in the old Warhammer Citadel paint range it would have been called bleach bone and the current Citadel paint range they call it Ubshanti bone this color here bone white is fairly close to bleach bone uh, do I have that color here I might not actually have that color here but that's okay um, it's fairly close I think that this is maybe a touch lighter than than your standard bleach bone or Ubshanti bone from from Citadel we actually compared both of them because they uh, Trinity had both and it did seem a little lighter but uh, I think that that's fine I don't mind it being a tad lighter so yeah I view this is my second um, Vallejo game color and I I like it I, I think it's pretty good so yeah I, I don't really I'm not particular about my hobby paint I figure I figure they're all usable to some extent so long as they're not like the dollar store stuff that stuff is just far too... It's just a totally different formulation that's not really good for... Um, for hobbyist level stuff, right? And we got some Mr. Almighty Clips. Almighty, the Almighty Clips. Just like uh, Bob Ross, he's always saying Almighty. This Almighty Tree. <laughs> mm, 36 of them, that's a fair decent amount. I can't imagine I'll need any more than this, really given the given the, the 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 size of the models that I usually make I don't think I'll need more than this but uh, yeah it's it kind of dawned on us that we would need would need these things uh, if we're gonna be doing some spray painting um, because I have people on my twitch and on my YouTube that aren't a hundred percent aware of like like the various kind of hobbies and the different sub hobbies we'll just take a look at this right because in the Warhammer world I don't really see these things used too often uh, bacon I'll be surprised came close to using all of your all of them a few times yeah this is a pack of 35 and uh, yeah yeah you know what you might be onto something there I might I might have to use them all but yeah it's just a little gator clip a little gator clip 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 and you can use it to pinch pinch this uh, model right here find a place to find a place to clip the model that really isn't going to get in the way of your painting this model doesn't have a peg or anything but if you imagine like there's a peg 
that would be a good place to put the clip and it'll be an easy place an easy area to spray spray paint or if you have an airbrush or primer or using a using any kind of sealant top coat gloss coat anything like that pretty straightforward stuff um, yeah so along with these uh, nitra bought the uh, what do they call that mr it's the base it's like the cardboard base right with the corrugated side facing up like usually the edges of a of a cardboard facing up and then you can um you can just easily spray like that you can just leave them on there to dry let's just wrap these things up pretty straightforward stuff but yeah this is uh i feel like this is going to be pretty useful um yeah and i might actually end up having to use all of it that would be that would be pretty nutty especially if you get a master master grade i'm sure but yeah this is like one of those little hobbyist level up things where you could you could kind of get along without using these things and i ha i definitely have been use getting along without using them but felt like it would be useful uh it would be useful it'll just make certain aspects of of spraying a lot easier so prior to purchasing this and as well as that little base thing uh, that night trap bought the little base uh, when it came to to Warhammer miniatures let's just put uh, let's put these guys out for example and if they weren't painted right just imagine if they were the bare plastic what I would do is actually just take the bases and glue them or not glue them just tape them to a plank of wood I would have like this long like fairly sturdy and fairly heavy plank of wood and just tape the base onto them you know if there was three models if there was six or more eight and then place that block with the miniatures on it into a cardboard box take it outside and spray within the cardboard box right shh, shh, you guys know the drill about spraying and that way you ensure that like the wind you know if it's a windy day you're not really gonna run into the problem of of your miniatures or whatever you're spraying tipping over right from the wind because it's it's they're all taped to a heavy block and then that block is set within a cardboard box which is kind of like protected against the wind right so yeah that's kind of what i've been doing but um figure having we still might use a cardboard box the cardboard box idea but yeah having that stand just having this plus the stand makes it easier to kind of like spin the model around and kind of get like spray it and spin it around and get all the angles really it's kind of handy So here's the first. So as I mentioned, uh, uh, over at Trinity, they had the a sale, and I don't recall the specifics, but I know that in addition to like a more global sale of of items at the store overall, there was also specifically 15% off. I think that's separate. Like you couldn't stack them. 15% off um, Kotobukiya kits and 15% off. Uh, Mecha Masume, so any kind of model that's, you know, your girl plot type model, also 15% off, which is, uh, you know, a pretty good deal. But first, we'll start off with this. Picked up this MSG modeling supply goods. That's the this one here. You can take a look. It's the uh, scabbard and a katana blade. So that it's. It's beige, it's kind of like a bone beige color right now. But you can paint that to be, to look like metal, right? Like uh, some kind of steel, right? And this is a boken, is that what it's called? It's like a bamboo, a bamboo like training sword. You might even have one, Bacon. Do you have one like this? Where it's kind of like these bamboo 
bamboo splinters that are kind of like binded together right here and then the tip is like covered in like a cap uh bacon they're called shinai am i saying that right shinai okay what's a boken then is a boken like a uh just like a wooden a wooden katana what's a boken it's just weird that that word floated into my head like that okay it's a wooden sword and if you look at the back you can kind of see why i bought this right <laughs> they put the idea in my head there's ritsuka holding the uh shinai and there's also also more pictures of of the other uh Sosai Shoujo Tenyan models, and it just looks cool. I didn't even know that on the back they had this. They had these pictures specifically. I just thought that it would be kind of funny to have this with my model, right? Uh, I thought it just might be funny. And then looking on the back, I was like, oh, okay. They they beat me to the punch. They already had they already had that idea in mind. But yeah. I think that's kind of neat. We might even build this later today if we have time. Let's just open it up real quick. I'm not gonna, not gonna linger too long, but let's just open it up real quick and just see. The instructions are just right here, so that's not a big deal. And it looks like there's a uh, kind of like a a rubberized plastic that'll be the the strap that goes around and the scabbard, which is quite large actually. This seems actually much larger than, than I would have thought from the picture. This would hold the sword itself, I suppose. And the blade, <clears throat> the blade looks like a one single long piece. And there's the there's the the bamboo one. Oh yeah, and it seems like the it seems like this is the handle for the sword, and you might have to put something in between. Oh yeah, it's very simple. The sword itself. The sword is very very simple. I might have to add something. Some. At, what do they call it? Like a hilt. Uh, a handguard or something. I might have to add something because it looks it looks awkward to me that there's no sort of barrier. Like you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know the official terms. This element here, there should be something like that for the for the katana as well, but there isn't. So that seems like something that you could add if you have some plot plate. Let's put this back real quick. Just a little thing, and actually, this was so. This would have been part of the sale, and I think that they only had this one left. And I had seen it previously, and I, it was one of those things where, like, eh, I don't know if I wanna, if I wanna buy this right now. But I don't recall seeing it at Panda because I was even thinking about getting it even before then, right? When, uh, when we went down, went back to the big city. I don't think I saw that panda. And this is a, this is a good P, uh, MSG, that stands for modeling supply good. This is a good accessory for Sosai Shoujo Tengen models, just because it's, it's not like fantasy based. It doesn't, it's like a realistic looking thing. Although that being said, I think it'd be pretty funny to buy something more fan fantastic, more sci-fi-ish. For, for for Ritsuka or whatever, right? Because they have a bunch of, of nutty things. Uh, Bacon, I think Boken doesn't usually have handguards. Uh, yours does though. Yeah, so I'm thinking I might paint this in a way that it doesn't look like a Boken anymore. I want to paint it to look like a real sword. That's my thinking. We will see. We shall see. And I, I've, I'm pretty sure I've seen that on... Um, On the uh, Sosai Shoujo Tain blog, there's like an official blog, and they have a lot of cool p 
pictures of like the models where they have like they mix them up with some cool accessories like hats from different companies and different outfits and uh, yeah I saw some pictures of, uh, of the model with a sword and it may have been custom or it may have been this model painted and tweaked a bit but it looked like a real sword. <laughs>